Fly with Nemesis model. So today we're doing a double shoot with Sophia and Bianca and we are around Piccadilly, Manchester and we're going to take you behind the scenes. Yeah. Okay guys, in this video today um, we're going to go through the shoot that I did with Eleanor and Monique uh, with makeup artist Bianca who I will have links in the description below. Today's video is basically just going through some tricks and tips of working with and posing multiple models at the same time. So my first tip is maybe down to personal preference but what I really like to do is tighten up any gaps and shapes left between the models, like the shapes that the models make between their bodies. So in the left image you can see that Eleanor and V are a little bit further apart from each other and this creates like a little bit of a shape and a gap between their bodies and their heads and for me that's kind of distracting and it breaks up the unity and the cohesiveness of the image so as you can see on the right what I've done is just ask them to close that gap a little bit move their heads closer to each other just to get rid of that inconsistency The next tip is something that I've spoken about a lot um, in regards to coordinating clothing with location, but equally it's important to coordinate your clothing that both models are wearing. This creates a more cohesive look, really adds more elements to your, to your work and makes it look a lot more professional. I also want the models to be interacting in some way, whether that's by talking or leaning on each other, um, holding onto each other in some way. This just makes, again, the image look more cohesive and natural and free-flowing. Another tip is to vary eye contact. Um, so in this example, I've got Veronique looking away and Eleanor looking at me. This just creates like another aspect of the image kind of breaks that full forward as well. I'd also massively suggest utilising dynamic posing. Get your models, work at different levels, get them doing weird things with their bodies, making shapes, really using their bodies to their advantage and playing off of each other. This dynamic posing is really going to take away from any awkwardness within the picture. The viewer, your consumer, will be really drawn in by this dynamic use of movement um, and just generally it makes for like a really good image to get people moving about or to just change up the posing and variate it. Okay guys, that's all from me today. I will be back very shortly with another video. So thanks again for listening today. Let me know in the comments if anything helped, if you have any tips that you might want to add. I will see you guys in the next video.